Prepare for the verbal war. Hologram advanced physical form. Manifest the human to the law. You the darkness. Take hold and rip out your soul from your corner. Oh, best ever. Prepare for the verbal war. Hologram advanced physical form. Manifest the human to the law. You the darkness. Take hold and rip out your soul from your corner. Oh, best ever. Hello Fight fans, welcome to this special preview of UFC 284 where we'll be taking a closer look at the prelims, the main card and the highly anticipated lightweight showdown between Islam Makachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. Both of these fighters are among the best in the division and this promises to be an epic battle between two warriors at the top of their game. Markachev, with a record of 23 and 1, has been on a tear for the lightweight division, showcasing his dominant grappling skills and his ability to finish fights. Volkanovski, on the other hand, is the reigning featherweight champ with a record of 25 wins and one loss. He's known for his relentless pressure, punishing striking, and his ability to win fights wherever they take place. This matchup is one for the ages, and we can't wait to see these two champions collide in the octagon. Who the fuck comes out on top? Will Markachev continue his dominance in the lightweight division, or Volkanovski become champ champ and add to his already impressive resume? Now, I'm not doing this alone. Today, I bring yeah, to yeah, you what Rick, up? aka Rick Mortis, aka the chosen one from LTD Productions. Rick, what's happening, dog? The champion, the heavyweight, your heavyweight <laughs> super dry champion. I got my belt, the heavyweight super dry champion of Port Augusta. Undefeated. Just so you know, so no there, one has no one will take this from me. Is there a backstory behind this belt? Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, I just fucking anyone that fucking goes with me, man, they just get put to sleep. And that's the backstory. <laughs> and no one's taking well, this. It's from a good me. thing I'm on the other side of the country. Um, I don't have to deal with you. You know, a lot of people. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people gunning for this belt, man. So uh yeah, let's just put it aside. Uh the super dry champ. Heavyweight. Let's get heavyweight, into it. Baby. Tackling the main, uh, the, the oh, main yeah. card, the fucking prelims first before we jump into the main card. So to give the viewers uh, a bit of grace from seeing our fucking mugs, we'll be sharing a bit of this. So we're kicking it off with the first fight in the prelims. We're looking at uh, Jamie Malaki versus Francisco Prado. Now all of Prado's eleven to fail to go to the distance. Nine of Malaki's last twelve have failed to go to the distance. He is a slow starter. I expect him to lose the first round, but at the same time, Prado hasn't faced anyone at this bloke's level, and I think if Prado does win, it has to be by a knockout in the first round. You are our UFC insider, so I want to hear what your thoughts are on this one. Yeah, look, man, I think Jamie's got this. The last person he beat was Michael Johnson, I believe. It's a pretty notable win there, and Jamie Malak, any... any um. I'm not actually sure if you knocked him out or not, but I know it uh, doesn't matter if you knock Johnson out or um, or if you go to the distance with him. Um, it's still an impressive win. He's 15 um, and five. And uh, uh, as far as I'm aware, um, I think Francis is uh, actually making his de debut. He is. His He's only first bums. Even, by the looks yeah. of it. Well, and I can I just the... add that Michael Johnson is the... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Well, I'm just saying, Michael Johnson is, after all, the um, the grandfather to uh, to, to um, McGregor and uh, and Chandler because he beat uh, Poirier. I don't know if you saw the meme last week, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what does so that Jamie mean? Jamie Malarkey's got this, and I think he's going to come out violent, and I think he's going to fuck him up. Jamie Malarkey, fucking great granddad, yeah. baby. <laughs> so we want Malarkey to fuck him up. So, I'll take that. <laughs> Malarkey to win that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, first round KO, TKO, KO, whatever. That's that's um, yeah. And if he doesn't, I'll eat my fucking hat. Okay, and you be a hungry boy. But we got another Aussie in this one. Let's play this Rodriguez. This fuck is fuck has lost in the yeah the again. Series. Um, I think I uh, Shannon Ross loves to brawl. Apparently, has great wrestling. Rodriguez, according to my research, he's got the advantage in the stand up. But I think just the fuck, and he won't wrestle in this one. And he'll lose in the stand-up. But what are your thoughts? I'm gonna have to go with the Aussie on this one just because he's at home. You know, 13 and six. Uh, yeah, and they're both actually making their debut. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rodriguez is making his debut. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go with the Aussie on this one. And you're at home. You got all these other Aussies on the card. He can't not win. All right, let's jump into the next one. Shadow we got man, Josh yeah, Cullen versus Melsic yep. Bagsarian. 
Um, believe it or not, I actually met Josh Calabell. I met him when Adesanya fought Cannoneer in that fucking snooze fest. I met him at a pub, really nice guy. He yeah. can't pick a winner to save his life though. Now, Bagdasarian has won seven straight pro yeah, no fights, shit. but he has been fighting fighters with losing records. Looking at the opening, so the bookies have anyone to win this fight. Calabell's on the up, he loves to switch stances, he's striking, he's improving every single fight. But at the same time, apparently the Bagdasarian loves a good counter strike. So I'm not sure how this one goes. What are your thoughts? He's coming up a win and he's fighting home. So, you know, how can he win this one? He's got, um, I know the Armenians don't fuck around and this guy doesn't look like he fucks around, but I, I, I've, I've got Josh, I've got old mate this one. He's on a tear. Yeah, I like Josh in this one too. That I mean, last fight he won, for that split decision. He was yep. an underdog in that fight too, so. Yes, yep, yep. That's right. Now, the, let's jump into the next one. We're looking at Tyson Pedro versus Modestus oh, yeah. Bukaki. Oh, Bukaskis. This one. Now, um, fucking a rousing matchup here. Pedro, dollar third. Uh, his last first fights. Pedro's last five fights failed to get in the distance. Uh, he's got a clear advantage on the ground, but he hasn't had to use his grappling since he's come back from injury. Uh, a bit here. Pedro's a heavy favorite. You think he brings it home? Uh, man, look, Pedro is... I thought he was something special before he had his little layoff. And um, I'm actually not sure if he has that layoff off of a, a loss or, or off of a win. Because I remember for about two years thinking, where the fuck's... Where the fuck this bloke been to, man? Because um, I've been really looking forward to watching him again. And then when he came back, he came back and made a statement. Uh, Bukaska, he's coming off of a win too, though. Uh, he uh, KO'd uh, Hunsucker. Um, and no, that's the guy's real name, Hunsucker. Uh, in the um, in the first round, actually. Coming off of the first round KO. Uh, very dangerous guy. Very good fight for Pedro. Um, and I think this is the uh, this is the fight for him. The, the, uh, the one that puts him on the, uh, on the main cards going forward because... Um, this guy's a superstar, and he ain't fucking around. He's he's coming to take heads and, and he's not fucking around and, at all, and all that. Yeah, he's I think the UFC are protecting him as well. They've been feeding him some some pretty easy ones, to be honest. So I think he's if the UFC want you to be Pedro. successful, they'll make you successful. Yeah. Since he's come back from injury, he's had some pretty yes, easy ones. Yeah. Well, you know. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm not going to disagree with that. Uh, um, I, but he has absolutely flogged these dudes. So um, he you know, has. He's still flogging professional athletes, fighting at the top of the game, fed to him or not, uh, which I, I do agree. Um, I still think it's impressive, and I still think he's going to uh, make a statement and he's going to come out with a first round KO. Even actually, that's uh, I agree. Has to be. Oh, here we go, um, Jimmy Crute. Let's get into the main card though. Look at Jim. Jimmy Crute versus Alonzo Menafield. Now Menafield's won four of his last fight five. He's won his last two fights by first round KOs. Uh, seven straight Crute fights have failed to go the distance. Yep. He has lost two straight fights, though. His last win was two years ago. Um, he is the favorite in this one. I think he's got the wrestling advantage, but Menafield probably a bit more dangerous on his feet. Fight can go either way in my eyes. I think it depends on if Menafield can stop those takedowns. He's got a good chance. But what do you think? Home, home crowd advantage here, Jimmy Crute to get him over? Another fight of the night, maybe? Well, um, look. So Jimmy Crute was on a tear at his first few fights. He was absolutely murking dudes and he was taking them to the ground and just, just beating them to a pulp. Um, and then, you know, he got the knockout bar again. He started starting fights on the feet. And uh, by the mm. time he was, you know, ready to implement his game, his ground game probably took a bit too much damage and um, and, and he done fucked up. But uh, um, he's had a long time to sort of come at this and, and I think he's going to use his ground game up against this guy. He's coming off the first round. KO, I believe. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 who was it? Um, uh, I can't pronounce the last name. Misha Kr Krukanov or something. Um, very impressive knockout. Uh, Jimmy Krut, though, he's been he's, you know, KO KO'd a bunch of Mile Hill. Um, lost to lost to Anthony Smith, but that was a freak accident. That was his leg given in. Actually, right after that, right after that fight is when Wat Weidman snapped his shit in half by uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Uriah Hall checked that kick, and yeah. he um yeah that actually happened on the same card uh, right after that fight, but it was two freak accidents back to back. You know that uh, you know that um that injury uh, it uh, when people think that you kick that part in your knee the, the old meniscus 
and then you get that stank leg and full back. It happened to Sean O'Malley. Um, is that the same I as think Connor? It even happened to uh, Sajudo at one point. Connor, Connor's leg broke because he was kicking Poirier's leg a bit too hard. And bit too much. <laughs> um, uh, definitely not the same thing. Yeah, what that was was just. Um, I think oh, I think he actually went in there to break his leg on purpose. <laughs> Off the stop this baby. No, but, but um, yeah. So Jimmy Crew, man, he's got he's got this. He's um, I was under the impression that he was being fed this bloke for a win, but it turns out it's not the case. This guy's pretty dangerous. Make a noise, just like for Crew. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I don't know how he's going to pull this off without the mullet, but um, yeah, he he's got this. Mm. Very talented. Yeah, I reckon. Very talented you, fighter. You, you, Hasn't you lost get him to the home, ground. I don't think. Nah. I reckon if, if he get, yeah. gets him to the ground, he, he can get him to the ground. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He he he, he needs to not start. Um, on he needs to not start like as a boxing champion. He needs to. Um, yeah, yeah. He needs to throw some feints. Uh, you know, yeah. So Jimmy Crute for my for the first um, pick on the main card is Jimmy Crute. Let's do it. You got to stay in your lane, Jimmy Crute. That's what he's got to do. Stay in his lane. Ain't no boxing champion. Yeah, yeah. Justin Tarpa last- versus Parker Porter. Yeah. Parker Porter. It sounds like a um a, a ripoff of Peter Parker. Um I can't not hear Peter Parker's I can't not think about Spider Man when I see this guy, but I do not think about Spider Man when I Hold see on. this guy visually. Justin Tarpa, what is he? Samoan, I believe. And they just they just have different from, look Zealand, and he's not looking as fat and shit. Um New Zealand, right, yeah. of course. Um Justin Tarpa puts his lights out, man. I think he, um, I think he's going to really hurt this guy. Uh, you know, again in the first. Uh, that being said, Parker come off with submission loss, so his chin isn't, you know, he's he's not. Um, I don't think he's coming into this fight chinny, but he's still going to get knocked down. Justin Tarpa, another person on this on this card, well on the prelims, another person that's knocked out, um, um Hansucker, and uh, he knocked him out in the first round. I think first half of the first round. Mm. And it was um I like um it was hard I like, to watch. I like Porter's wrestling in this one. I think that'll be his advantage. If he does if he does well on the wrestling, I think Porter could wear tougher down if you can avoid those big shots, but these big boys can bang it and it only takes yeah, one hit, can, so can, Yeah, that, exactly. He can take him down and and look and I'll get I'll I'll elaborate more on this when we're talking about Volk and Islam. Um I just think you know, uh, surely Justin Tarf has played a bit of rugby in his time and you know uh, and, uh, and I think he can fend off a takedown. I think he knows what he's doing when he's getting grabbed and getting taken to the ground. He, he'll flail out of it. He's not out of. He's not. Um, he's not in unknown waters. There. He's. Uh, um, I think. I think. Uh, yeah. He's. He, he's not fully susceptible to the takedown and to and to fall to that. I think he'll he'll wriggle out of that and then knock this man out, big time. Mm. I'm more worried about um, I so think Porter just holding him up against sorry? the cage and leaning on him. I'm worried about leaning him up Tarpa against because... the cage and just holding him there, doing a bit of bit of fury, mate, bit of Tyson Fury magic. Throw your tits around, just lean on him, get him <laughs> fatigued, put your head in his chest. <laughs> well, he's not taller than him. He's and and like I said, I think I think uh, I don't think he can um, handle that that um, that Islander strength. I think the guy's just gonna. Just fling him off him and then knock him out. <laughs> and if he takes him to the we ground, he's just going to get up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hope he's eating his taro because he's going to come in hard. <laughs> yeah. First round. Um. Yeah, first round KO. Justin Tarpa. All right. Sweet. We've got Jack. Yep. Della Madalena versus Randy Brown. Jack's a short favorite. Yeah. He's got a four-inch height advantage and a five-inch reach advantage. Um. No Aussies. You with me, King? No Aussies on this fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. The heavyweight kings with you always. Um, uh, Jackson Aussie. Uh, no way. Um, you're right. He is. You know what? Fuck hell. I uh, I got that wrong. But um, he's coming off what he KO'd uh, Danny Roberts in the foot in his last fight. Uh, Randy Brown is coming off a decision win. So you got one guy coming in off a KO win, another guy coming in off a decision win. You know, what does that say to your mindset when you've, you know, both blokes coming off a win, one bloke just did it a bit more impressively. Um, 
but I don't know, man. Uh, these these, uh, these Jamaican Jamaican athletes, uh, you know, they don't fuck around. I do want to back the Aussie, and I do want to have my boy. But for my uh, multi, for my pick, I can't help it. But I got to pick Randy Brown. Um, I think he's going to. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think he's going to get an impressive knockout or um, decision win by the end. But uh, but but Jack, old man, mate, probably going to come in and KO him. Uh, I forget what round he KO'd. Um, what's his name? Uh, Danny Roberts. But um, he, he, yeah, look, it could go either way, this one. But I've got Randy mm. Brown. Just something's telling me that this bloke's going to come in and and make a statement, a violent statement. But then again, Jack Dillard's at home ground, coming off a knockout win. And uh, yeah, he's also coming to make a violent statement so but yeah they but it's it's a hard pick this one it could go um it could go either way but randy brown's my pick yeah uh, and i wouldn't back against you there because there's a, couple, a few fights where it is a, what about you a pick them in your mind it could go anyway but the odds are way too short for jack like you're not getting much value in that so if it really is a pick em, you tend to lead to the underdog which is randy right. brown and there's great odds there He's just a long motherfucker. The, those, I think these front kicks, but even the ground game of his, yeah. he's long as a motherfucker. Um, but at the same time, Jack's probably one of the most hyped up fighters outside of the top 15. So, I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good fight, is all I can say. It's, you know, yeah, it's going to be a good one, this one. Uh, it's just, it's almost a David and Goliath fight. This guy's uh, quite a bit taller and quite a bit longer than him. And, uh, you know, is I going to come through with a big old overhand and catch him, or this block's going to just, you know, big front kick up, kick up the chin? And yeah. Maybe a flying knee. Pez dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> flying knee, uh, eh? Uh, I wouldn't mind a flip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yayi Rodriguez versus Josh Emmett. Now, Rodriguez, his kicks are fucking mental. He's fast, got knockout power. He switches stances, knees, front kicks. Emmett cuts off the cage really well, but I think his path to victory is on the ground or it's a fucking big overhand. Uh, how do you think this fight goes? What happens here? Man, yeah, Rodriguez is is uh he's really good. But Josh Emmett is is uh he's he's on a tear, man. He's absolutely been murking people. Um what was it? Like he won against Qatar K- Qatar. Didn't knock him out, but I mean who's gonna knock Qatar out? Max Holloway belted his yeah. head around for five rounds. The guy didn't go to sleep. Although Max Holloway doesn't exactly have the most knockout power. I said it. Um, look, I think Josh Emmett is going to um, steamroll, yeah, just like he's been doing other people. Uh, maybe a decision win. Uh, but yeah, Rodriguez actually has a pretty good gas tank. I don't know if you remember the uh, the last, literally the last second TKO, no, KO he got against the Korean zombie with that um with that elbow. Uh, I don't know if he did, yeah. At, at, uh, so the guys, the guy can knock you out at, at any point in the fight. Literally at the last second, he can knock you out. Again, I don't know. Josh Emmett is just he's been on an absolute tear, and the guy is an animal, a filthy, filthy animal. He's going to come through, and yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's this. He's on a title run, man, and, and he's going to be fighting for a... I don't know if he's going to win or not, but he's going to be fighting for a title. Because, uh, you know, I he'll think... have to fight Volk for that title. And, uh, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you can't count these guys out. They're... Um, they've got, they, you know, they, they've got a lot more to lose. They've had a lot more to think about. They're... Um... But, a- again, yeah, yeah, he's really good. But he is coming off a, um, a win against uh, Ortega. Um, yeah. But that win, I don't know. It's not... So I think Ortega would have beat him if he didn't get that uh, freak elbow or shoulder injury or something. You know, not a very impressive win, whereas Josh Emmett has just been fucking people up. Mm. Well, they're both fucking savages. Who Josh Emmett's win? my pick for this one. So, Josh Emmett. Yeah. Josh Emmett, definitely. Um, maybe not by KO, but definitely by decision. Yeah. Well, he does have a great gas tank as well. So he'll push and push and push. This is a five-rounder, I assume, right? So he'll just keep going and going oh, and going. Yeah. It's for the interim title. Yes, it is. It is a five rounder. Yeah. Um, and again, yeah, Rodriguez knocked the uh, knocked Korean Zombie out in the last second of a five round fight. I'm saying Let's get into the decision win for Josh Emmett. Okay. Uh, the final pick we got um, Islam Markachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky, both champions. Their records are fucking unbelievable. A lot of conversation in this is about the size. Can Volkanovsky handle it? 
talking about Volkan Volkanovski's resilience. He's gotten out of every poor position he's ever been in, but he's never faced anything quite like this. You know what the oh, Daggy yeah. boys are like? They're fucking animals, right? So, Makachev, yeah. heavy favorite in this one. Give us your insights. This is what we're building up for. What do you think? What happens in this one? This is what we've built up for. And um, look, man, uh, um, you know, Daggy's are different, built different. Um, I don't know if that's racist, Daggy's. You know, maybe I'll just say Dagestanis. That's what Israel calls them. These, so. these Dagestani folks. Israel calls them Daggies? Well, fuck yep, me. Daggy they Daggies then. Um, look, look, man. Um, he, uh, that, that early, I remember waking up three in the morning to go watch him fight Oliveira. Um, my gut was in knots, man. I couldn't, I couldn't wait for that fight. Uh, you know, and it finally happened and uh, it was really um, heartbreaking the way that Islam actually made it look easy. He made Oliveira uh, look like it just wasn't his night. He made Oliveira look like he didn't, you know, he didn't want to be there. And that's kind of fucked up, especially when you think about the people that uh, Oliveira is. Islam came and fucked him up. So I, I was just sort of thinking maybe Oliveira is going to catch him on the feet and knock him out. And then Islam just was so much better on the feet. The, um, you know, wasn't scared of the ground game at all. Uh, you know, anyway, moving on. I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, not to talk too much about that fight because Volk has also looked extremely impressive in his last few fights. Destroyed Max Holloway on that third fight. There was there's, there was no doubt that he just absolutely murdered him that whole fight. Um, uh, uh, you know, the, the second fight, maybe that was questionable. Uh, the fight against T-City, he got out of those two extremely tight. Like, I mean, they were like anyone else would have tapped for that. Um, heavyweights would have tapped to that and uh, he, his face was his head was going purple looked like the tip of my knob after a blank too many times he um, he was gargling and it just he just literally like weaseled out of it and, and, and snarled and squirmed out of it like, an, like a literal animal he um, so that being said if Islam catches him in something like that I think either Volk's gonna squeeze out of it and get out of it somehow or he's just going to tap straight away, like like Oliveira did. As soon as he had that, um, mm. what was it, an arm triangle on Oliveira, he just tapped, man. He did mm. like that grip, that strength. As soon as he got a hold, as soon as he had a hold of him, Volk has to like keep his distance. It's, it's really hard. Like he's going to have to, um, he's going to want to press forward and 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 uh, you know show show Islam that he's that he's uh, that he's bringing the fight to him. And you know Volk's not really known for his ground game. But um, he's beaten people with really good ground games, and he wasn't scared of their ground game. He, um, who is it? He, I'm struggling to think about this one, but uh, he's beaten Aldo. He's beaten Chad Mendes. He's beaten Max Holloway three times. I mean, who the fuck's beaten Max Holloway three times? Let alone twice. Um, again, I know I'm not I'm not bringing up the same rhetoric as last time because it was all about Islam's beating nobody. Who's Islam beaten? And uh, you know, it didn't matter who he had beaten or hadn't beaten. He came in and, and looked like an absolute champion that night. Uh, um, mm. So, I, again, I haven't actually said anything yet. I'm still just, you know, talking <laughs> shit, I guess. So I'm going to get right into it. I, I think, <laughs> I think, um, I think if Volk wins, it's a fucking war for the guy. Uh, it's an absolute war, and I think he he um, he, he grinds out the win. But if Islam um, wins. I have this horrible feeling, and I, and and I've been broken too much by shit like this. Uh, Islam might just make it look easy and make Volk just look like he didn't want to be there, and it's going to have us all scratching our heads. And you know, I I'm actually worried that might happen. If I was betting with my heart, I'm going on Volk, of course. Um, not that I'm the biggest Volk fan. Actually, found was pretty uh, found him pretty annoying at first, especially with his uh, you know, he hasn't got the best person personality but i guess uh anybody who literally fist fights for a living you can't really call them boring you know um just because they're not running around acting mm. like a dickhead they're not boring these people fist fight for a living they're not fucking boring um uh yeah so i think um i want volt to win that's basically what i'm saying but i, I think islam's going to honest God, god's honest truth i think islam beats him and i think he um I hate to say this, um, uh, I, I think he he makes it look easy, and I think he 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 just has us all hanging our head in shame the next couple of days, and sort of you know I'll be crying in the shower with my clothes still on, 
um, after the after the card because I think it's going to be something like that. It's going to be very disappointing, and um, and even though I'm saying all this, I'm still going to be just as disappointed, probably even more, because I still think Bulk is just going to. See, I don't know. I'm saying all this. I think this is going to happen. I think that's going to happen. It all contradicts each other, but I guess that's the fight game. You know, it, it can go either way. And and this one, it. I don't know. Volk's looking good. Sounding confident in interviews. Doesn't sound like he's kidding himself. Um, Islam is very much underestimating Volk. He's smirking yeah. and smiling at everything. I mean, people say this guy's boring. A man that smirks and smiles. I was at the number one pound for pound fighter in the world at everything the guy says. I mean, that's not boring. That's fucking hilarious. Um, Volk's a very dangerous man. And the last fight, the last fight, Max, he looked like he was on roids. Um, so uh, Volk at lightweight is just, he looks a lot fuller. He looks, looks, and this guy, you know, back to the rugby, like, like I said, back to playing rugby. This guy's, man, this guy's a front roller. And uh, this guy's a front roller and he's a little nugget. You know, he, he wasn't no... You know, he wasn't a he wasn't out in the wing or anything like that. He was right in the middle tackling, and he played rugby in Sydney. He's he's versus Big Islander blokes. He's probably he's probably the only fucking dude on his team. Um, and he's so that rugby strength is you know it's unreal. It's un, it's uh. So I don't know if I made it a lick of sense just now, but I'm going Volk just because you got to go with your heart. <laughs> I mean, we're here for the game, not the multi, as the ad says. Uh, but I do have this horrible, horrible feeling that, uh, you know, like I said, the dagger standings, man, especially, especially, uh, you know, father's plan, man, he's going to come out and he's going to get a hold of him. And, and um, it's going to be interesting to see the look on Volk's face the first time they make physical contact, whatever that is. If they come in with a little exchange, a little bit of a, a little bit of a clinch, and then he's going to push out. Um, I think Volk's, I don't know. I think, um, I think Volk's going to, rethink his whole game plan uh, after that uh, who wouldn't I mean the guy's just incredibly strong what do you think mm. <clears throat> uh, very similar to you in the fact that I want Volk to win um, I do agree Islam is he's underestimating him I think Volk's preparation will be great he's actually prepared to go to the ground most people say that they won't go to the ground of Islam like it's not going to happen whereas Volk's prepared to go down get dirty and get back up again I think I that's he where he's a bit overconfident I don't think you can get back up it's going to be hard as fuck to get up again after this guy takes you down so I'm hoping Volk keeps it on his feet as much as yeah. he can if he does get taken down hopefully it's late in the round because I don't see him bouncing back up so that, that, that's the risk for me I, I want it to go to no. rounds four and five Islam hasn't had many five rounders so that is in Volk's advantage because well, we know that these daggy boys can wrestle all day so yeah, look, I think Markachev will win. I don't want him to. I want to see yeah. a bulk win by decision, or even a knockout would be better. But at the same time, he's moving up in weight. How often do you see him knocking knocking people out when they move up? So, yeah, I'm just, I'm hoping I'm not disappointed. Yeah. I hope it's entertaining as fuck. I hope it goes the distance. Well, I mean, that being said, I think even if Islam gets a hold of him and schools him and makes it look easy, I think, you know, that in itself is entertaining just because that's what this man has done to the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Um, you know, at least in hindsight, it will be interesting. Maybe on the, maybe not on the day after spending 60 bucks on the card and buying all these beers and buying all these chicken wings. Then you fucking sit there, you know, with your heart in your mouth. Maybe it won't feel worth it then. But, uh, you know, later on when you look down on it, you will watching history being made i guess um i think volk's stand-up mm. isn't as good as islam's stand-up either because uh you know we haven't seen too much of it but islam's got some nasty stand-up and he's got like shots that'll put people down um olivero gets you know he gets i'm pretty sure he gets knocked down shaving uh the guy can go down um <laughs> so islam you know but islam did knock him down uh <laughs> um mm. he yeah uh I, I, I don't know. I, I want them to stand and bang, uh, but then I, I don't know. I, I'm worried. You know, Volk's probably going to go for a big old um, overhand. Volk's got a good overhand that lands, and he's got a good, um, he's got a good, uh, good one-two that comes straight from you know, almost like he's shooting it from the hip, and it comes right up to your chin. Um, but I don't know, man. Islam, I've got the height on you as well. Uh, he's definitely, you know, he's been fighting longer than Volk. Volk's played rugby most of his, well, Volk played <clears throat> rugby than Volk, but again, Volk's got, 
I wouldn't exactly say Volk's got a lot of flight IQ. He's just tough, and he's just um, a fucking little animal. Uh, but maybe, maybe flight IQ isn't what wins this one. Maybe it's it's being a little animal. Mm. And I'm hoping I'm hoping Volk has been on the roids because uh, <laughs> he needs this. Well, but look, pound for pound, uh, it's for the pound for pound king. But for how long? What does that really even matter? Because John Jones is coming back later in the year. And if John Jones come comes back and beats Cyril Gain, then how can you not put John Jones at uh, pound for pound king? So and Islam ain't going up to fight John Jones. So he'll be the pound if Islam wins. He'll be the pound for pound king for a couple of months. And uh, you know all this nonsense will be put to put the rest. But for now, it is the pound for pound number one versus the pound for pound number two. And man, that's crazy. That's like unheard of. It's, it's uh, these two men in their prime, and uh, you know, Volk's been on a on a tear. Man, he can't can't lose. He lost once when he was like fighting in fucking I don't know, like fucking. I think it was in welterweight or something too. He lost to some other Australian guy. Yeah, it was that welterweight, and it was in like um, like Campbelltown or something, or fucking like <laughs> Wollong- like somewhere near Wollongong, or you know, it was in the back ass of nowhere, and he shouldn't. I don't even know how that counted on his pro record, but it is what it is. And then Islam lost to a guy that you know went on to not really achieve too much. So, man, shit, so much at stake, so much at stake. But I don't know. Volk, uh, Volk won't lose his belt if he loses, though. At least uh, that's one thing. But I don't. Mm. I think that's just a consolation prize, really. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that belt around my uh, over my shoulder until I went and won again at featherweight. If he loses, <laughs> that's true. Not like me. No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's my pick. Probably rambled on a bit there because it's really hard to sort of. I don't know. It's hard to say anything with conviction without the voice in the back of my mind. And saying shut the fuck up you're wrong say this instead uh you know it's again it's the heart versus the brain on this one and um you know shit ultimately though comes down to it gun to my head my belt on the line volk wins if you're putting that multi on though and and you and you if i don't know Go Islam <laughs> if you want to make some money. I almost feel like if, if get, Islam yeah, wins, round. it'll be like in the first or second round. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think there's a chance he could just absolutely dominate. I feel him, like it'll I'm be something. Betting, I'm betting on what I want yeah. to happen. What I want to happen. So if Volk gets to round, if Volk gets to round four, whether he loses or not, you know, I'm happy for what he's done. And my bet also wins. I don't want to see a fucking toppage. And you can... <laughs> I agree. And that is the All fucking heavyweight goat's opinion. That's the heavyweight goat. Let's wrap this up. Um, if you liked that's the heavyweight the goat done today, let us know in the comment section. I got Lightning McQueen like the on video. there. Sub the chat, sub to the channel. If you do like it, we'll get more of these out for all the big events for UFC. Um, look, Rick's been uh, a hell of a ride. Love talking to you again. I'm sure we'll do this again soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, it was great. Thanks a lot. I'll uh, I'll be talking to you about the um, the the card when it's uh, when it's all said and done. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know it, baby. Peace out. Peace out, ladies and gents. Prepare for the verbal war. Hologram, advanced physical form. Manifest the you want to the law. Use the darkness. Take hold and rip out your soul from your car. Best ever. Prepare for the verbal war. Hologram, advanced physical form. Manifest the you want to the law. Use the darkness. Take hold and rip out your soul from your car.